send in the clowns. We've been abused by everybody, um, attacked by the entire establishment, who did their best to stop ordinary decent people from going out and voting UKIP, and they have done in big, big numbers. Now, thus far, uh, we've made 43 gains overnight, but only about a sixth of the councils have counted so far. So by the end of today, uh, we're going to have a fair tally, and it sends a shockwave, I think, through the establishment. Is this genuine support, though, for UKIP, or simply a, a protest vote against the other parties? If you speak to the Westminster elite, they will tell you, oh, it's just a protest, nothing to worry about, really. Do you know what? When I meet, pro when I meet UKIP voters, they say, Nigel, we're voting for you because we believe in what you stand for. And these votes are not easily going to go back to the Labour and Conservative parties. What is the next move, though? How do you consolidate this support that you say is genuine support? Well, obviously, you know, we're going to wait for the next by-election uh, for Westminster. Um, last night was a very safe Labour seat. Uh, UKIP went from 0 to 24%. Uh, give us a marginal this summer and we'll have a real chance of winning it. Um, and we've got to get ready for the European elections, which, of course, take place this time next year. So lots to do uh, and lots of newly elected councillors who won't quite know what to do. And they're going to need some help and support, too. Now, there have been some serious questions, however, about your candidates in the, in the lead up to these elections. Do you guys need sort of a, a tighter process in terms of who exactly you're taking on board? You know, we had 1,740 candidates and a handful caused us embarrassment. I promise you, if we'd subjected the Labour and Conservative candidates to the same level of scrutiny that ours went through, goodness knows what we'd have found. I'm not pleased that we had one or two wrong ones, but I think, you know, as a percentage, it's absolutely tiny. Now, we will clearly, as we head on to a European election, and a general election have to professionalise further and make sure we don't get bad people. At the moment, I make everybody sign declarations to say they've not ever been members of extremist groups and occasionally people don't tell us the truth.